Hello everyone. Every woman menstrual for half of their lifetime. However, some will face period poverty and period stigma. They are not just an issue for minorities. Instead, they should be valued by the public because they can even cause somebody to end their lives. Therefore, our project is sharing buses to tackle period poverty and stigma on Tainan campus. Let's start with period poverty. It refers to financial barriers that prevent women from obtaining menstrual products. Women typically spend around $150 to $300 on menstrual products each month. It's an extra cost for women. However, if they cannot afford those, they will reduce the frequency of changing them and are forced to use the replacements such as rags and toilet paper, which may lead to health problems. In terms of pure stigma, which is the shame and embarrassment associated with menstruation, most of us might have ever faced a situation where women may feel uncomfortable taking out their menstrual products in public and men may avoid the section that sells them. People tend to use alternative ways to avoid seeing the word period and they use monthly visitor and mother nature instead. The discrimination can even lead to bullying and self abasement Actually, people are experiencing pure stigma without being aware of it. Menstruation is a phenomenon for every woman, so period poverty and pure stigma not only happen in remote areas, but also found in well-developed countries like the United States and the United Kingdom. So we wish we could do something to end them. We advocate for changes starting at the school level. Next, how does the project relate to our courses? In the adventure of issue exploration, we learn about SDGs. Inspired by SDG 5, gender equality, we wish we could do something to empower all women and girls starting in our school. In health and care course, it let us have a better understanding about the period. The English for skill courses and digital technology application course prepare us for language and computer skills required to conduct this study. Now let's invite my partner to introduce our research questions. And here's our research questions. First, what are the differences in measures related to eliminating period property between the Tainan and Taipei city governments? Second, what can we do to eliminate period property and the period stigma on our campus? Third, how effective was the sharing boxes of menstrual products campaign in a vocational high school in Tainan? And here's our methods. We made three different questionnaires in different phases of our pilot study. Also, we have an interview with Little Who founder Vivi Lin to seek her professional advice. And here's our findings. Since September 2021, Tana's measures are providing free menstrual products for disadvantaged groups and also holding menstrual education seminars. In addition, Free pets are provided in civic centers and the district offices all around Tainan. On the other hand, Taipei's measure is a substantial overall financial subsidy. Every junior high school girl will receive a voucher in each month, beginning in March 2022, and they can redeem the voucher for free menstrual products at a convenience store and worth $200. After learning about the policy, we were wondering what we can do on our own. According to the findings of our pilot study, we found that nearly 30% report they have ever experienced period property, but only a few of them are aware of the Moonani project. So we put sharing boxes of menstrual products on our campus for students to use. If they in need, they can use the sanitary packs in the sharing box. And after using that, they can also put an additional one in it. And based on the feedback questionnaire, we found that people using sanitary packs in the sharing boxes accounts for 55%, putting a new one accounts for 15%, and doing both accounts for 30%. At the same time, we promote our campaign on our own Instagram. We create Instagram posts about period stigma and the information about different types of menstrual products. Whenever there was a new post, we will receive feedback from our friends who felt fresh, educational, and inspiring. 
Allegedly, it was helpful to eliminate period property and period stigma. To sum up, Sharon Bassett's of menstrual product campaign is an effective way to eliminate period property. Although the campaign has not been prevalent so far, as long as everyone takes action, it will be eliminated in some day. But it may be that if the Taiwan government and non-profit organizations jointly solve the problems, now what we've done has let more people know about pure poverty and pure stigma. We hope they can take action to change it with us. Let's work together to eliminate pure poverty and end the pure stigma. Here are our references and photo credits. Thanks for listening.